Are we there? Yeah. Don't make me call this. Turn this car around. <laughs> Back to the channel and today we're gonna to be lifting off this body <laughs> okay guys welcome back to the channel and today's video I think this is gonna be a much requested uh, task in the Land Rover world now behind me we've got a Defender 90 TD5 it's got over 160,000 miles on the clock and it's in need of a little bit of repair and we're doing the two most major jobs on this vehicle we are doing a galvanized chassis swap and we're also gonna be changing the bulkhead as well amongst a whole host of other things we have got Quite an extensive list on this one, actually. As you can imagine, that mileage. Um, if it hasn't had this already, you're approaching these kind of things. All those items are worn or leaking, etc. On our list, we have got supply and fit new bushes throughout, and we're gonna do that with a chassis anyway. Uh, by the time it needs a chassis, we split down the axles from the frame. We're gonna be having some you know, worn bushes. We're not gonna be refitting components, which obviously need repair. Uh, we are fitting a front and rear anti-roll bar, drop links, etc. It'll be quite an interesting process because what we'd usually do when we're changing a, a chassis is we'd lift the body up on the ramp, we'd leave the frame on the floor with the axles, with the engine and the gearbox in situ. We would then pull the axles front and rear off. We would then pull the engine and gearbox out, swap everything over onto a brand new frame, stuff it back underneath, lower the body back down, and away you go, essentially. It's obviously not that easy. This is a Defender. There is some cutting and some swearing involved. Now, uh, when we're doing a bulkhead, we need to split the car down to every panel, if that makes sense. Now, you could do it uh, where we kind of move the front clip, the front area, and then we move the bulkhead out when we move the dash wheel out and we kind of assemble it all from there. I think we've worked out our plan of attack um, to essentially do the chassis first, lower the body back down, kind of prop a few bits in place, and then we'll take the bulkhead out and we'll fit our brand new bulkhead. Now we've gone for a Marsland chassis for this vehicle. Now a Marsland chassis is what essentially Land Rover use. It's made in the same frame factory, it's exactly identical, and the build quality is really good on that. So, we're only going to be fitting the best chassis here. And then for a bulkhead, we've gone for a shielder chassis, and that's going to be shipped off to paint in a few hours so it can be painted the same colour before assembly. Now, we do have a new starter actually. Behind me is Kieran. <laughs> <laughs> now, I won't go into too much detail, but unfortunately, Matt's a little bit unwell. Now, Matt is the South African guy with the mullet that you've seen. Uh, he is on the men, but we have missed him for boys. How many months? Uh, before Christmas, was it? Before, before Christmas. Before Christmas. Just before Christmas, he got quite ill, unfortunately. Uh, he's back on the mend, but we we're not gonna see him for a little while. So, uh, Kieran is coming on board. Now, Kieran, we used to work, me, Leon, and Dan in the office used to work with Kieran at the Land Rover main dealers. Kieran is 24? 24, yeah, level two JLR. Level two. Level two JLR. So, uh, Kieran's gonna be doing the whole job. I'm gonna touch things, he left. <laughs> no, I'm going to be overseeing Kieran basically, me and Kieran are going to be attacking this together. I have some other bits in the background, but I'm basically going to show Kieran essentially what we want him to split down. Kieran is very capable and you're going to be seeing a lot more of him on the channel and what he's capable of and how we're going to basically be doing what we do, what you guys see usually. Okay guys, so on our job card here, we have got carry out a chassis swap, we're going to be swapping it for a, uh, a galvanised Marsland chassis, new bushes throughout, front and rear anti roll bar including drop links. Now the steering is heavy, it's been somebody somewhere else, they've rebuilt the front axle, we believe it hasn't been done correctly, so we're going to have a look at that after we've built it all back up, and we can get to it on a ramp rather than on the floor. Power steering reservoir is leaking, we can sort that, uh, we're going to fit a crank seal, turbo's leaking, coolant's leaking, we've got to fit four new wheel bearings, or eight even, on all four corners, uh, new damage bulkhead, we're going to respray the windscreens around, and the top of the hand is the Box, this is quite a task. So, we don't have a second to waste. Grab a drink, this is gonna be part one of how we're gonna be restoring this TD590. And um, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be interesting. See you soon.
So good morning guys, it is the next day and Kieran couldn't get the body off yesterday. We had a number of issues with regards to just rusty nuts and bolts. It is a chassis swap and these things aren't as straightforward as we'd like to be. But um, Kieran's just taking off the inner wings. Obviously we are changing the bulkheads. So it'll be nice to see when this thing is fully stripped down. I think you've got one bolt left before this whole corner comes off. And today should be body off, am I right? Yep, correct. I'm looking forward to that. It's always nice to see a frame on the ground with the running gear. We can assess the condition of everything else of the vehicle. You can really get to the top of the chassis, see how bad it is. We have seen a number of concerns through this chassis on the front outriggers, some welding patches, some pretty poor repairs. So it is nice to have this thing with a fresh chassis and we can start again and give this thing a new lease of life. But I'll leave Kieran to it, play some music, grab a drink, and we'll start a new day. Felt right. It's good to have a felt right, that one. Yeah. Take three. Action. <laughs> I think we're ready to lift the body now. So uh, let's reposition the legs. Do you still there? <laughs> Foam trim. Foam trim. So guys, this is the, what is this Kieran, day two? Yeah, day, day two, body's up, um, a lot of corrosion visible, but nothing massive. It's just a variety of uh, poor repairs. It's obviously had a front outrigger done here, which has been replaced pretty poorly. That is where the chassis is, um, or where the chassis number is, uh, but it is a common area for rot just on this area here. Uh, Kieran's just jacking up the back to put some wheels on. The bulkhead, it's a bit of a weird one this, because usually the footwells absolutely are destroyed on this side. You can see this one is right here, um, but it's more higher up on this one. It's higher up on the corners, and you can sort of see just there, if I give you a little zoom just here, that's pretty concerning all under there, so all over there. It's, it's one of those things, you can sort of repair it and weld it, um, but it's, it's, it's past its best, I would think. Put a new bulkhead on it, and that would be absolutely golden. You can see the feet are starting to go. Um, I think it is just time to put a whole bulkhead assembly on. Obviously, while we've got one here, getting it painted, this is the right thing to do. So we're excited to put a fresh bulkhead on it. <clears throat> the chassis is actually covered in mud. Now, the next process for this is gonna be uh, engine and gearbox out, rolling it outside, swapping over the axles onto the new frame, taking the tank out, etc., and then essentially cutting this chassis in half, grinding off any numbers that are available and sending it off to the scrap man. Um, but this is amazing progress, it's insane. I always think it's crazy to see a Defender in this kind of condition with the body up and the frame on the floor. I love to see it, but we've got to pressure wash all of this, make sure everything's nice and clean because it'll be a real shame to you know, install sort of a, a grubby engine and box back onto a fresh frame. And we've got to split the engine and box anyway for a rear manual seal amongst a variety of other seals, but this is great progress, and I think it's one of those things. Uh, crazy to see this condition. It's going to be wonderful to see on a fresh galvanized Mars on frame. But guys, like I said, this is going to be part one of how we're going to be changing uh, a Defender TD5 chassis and bulkhead. So I'm going to wrap this episode up here, and you'll have to stick, stay tuned to see part two and potentially part three of this TD590 restoration. Kieran's worked very hard, and we've all sort of mucked in just sort of doing bits and bobs on it. 
Leon, Leon too, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, do drop a comment down below. Do let us know what you're thinking. This is cool. It's going to be nice to see what you guys think of doing a Mars and Gas uh, Galvan chassis swap and bulkhead swap. It's going to be an interesting restoration project, and I hope you guys are really loving this one. Do hit the uh, the old subscribe button. Give us a like. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, which is at Juice Motors, and we'll see you guys next time.